Hey everyone, it's Reed again. Uh, now I'm going to show you guys my second homemade shotgun build. This one I made pretty much out of leftover material that I had from my first gun. If you guys remember the first gun, it's right back here on the wall. Um, the leftover wood that I had, the oak um, plywood as well as the, uh, the black iron pipe. I made this one for my wife. <clears throat> see here this one actually looks very much like a regular shotgun um, it's still it's a slam barrel shotgun uh, two-piece put the shell in the barrel slide it in bring it back and I made this one look basically the way you cock a regular shotgun this is how you fire this one um, the whole handle and everything made it look pretty much like a regular shotgun that you would buy um, I actually got gun stock wood finish um didn't realize they actually had a color named gun stock but uh it's made out of the same thing one inch black iron pipe um three quarter inch black iron pipe now with this one here because it's so thin right here with wood there ain't very much wood in this whole area compared to my other build over there um, I added a backbone to this one. This is 8 inch steel that I cut and bent to follow the same bend as the stock. It goes all the way to the shoulder rest which is made out of 8 inch uh, thick steel just like the first build. <clears throat> I haven't added rubber to it yet. Uh, it definitely needs it. I have not fired this one yet. Um, I literally just finished it at um, the clear coat and everything just cured today. Um, I made uh, made the barrel on this one a little bit differently. Uh, since I didn't have quite enough pipe left over to go, go the full length with three quarter, I had a 15 inch piece left. So I took a six inch piece of one inch slid it over the three quarter for about an inch and then welded it in and grinded it nice and smooth so the tip of this is actually one inch compared to the three quarter so it's 15 inches of three quarter and then six inches of uh, one inch and it's still it's only 20 inches long like my other build because it slides up inside there uh, an inch uh, like I said I haven't fired this one yet so I'm not quite sure what kind of sound it's going to put out with this. Um, it's probably going to put out a little bit deeper tone than regular shotgun fire. Probably be a little bit louder. Um, with this one I actually, if you look really closely right there, well, you can't really see it in the uh, in the camera, but that's a little metal uh, copper piece that I uh, drilled and um, JB welded in there. It's got my initials across the front. Uh, the side here has got two little emblems on it. Uh, it looks like a cougar. I'm not really sure what kind of emblems they are. those are. I put two on each side. Uh, give it a little bit of unique look to it. <clears throat> I did the same thing to the stock. I got two little emblems in here. It's eight of them total. Um, two on each side of that. Now on this one, I also added a little plate here. It's got my initials on it as well as the month and the year that I made this. It's uh, 5 slash 16. That's on both sides. Uh, the emblems that I have here, they actually came off of an old leather belt that I found at my local Goodwill. It was uh, 75 cent for the belt. Um, I cut, on, cut all the emblems off of it and put them on here. Uh, the little strap you see here is 75 cent at Goodwill. Uh, the belt buckle, it was a gold um loop for on that belt and I cut that off and used it as the ring for the top and then of course I made the bottom ring there out of a little piece of uh galvanized metal and then painted it. Um this one here is a lot different than my first build. Um the receiver part here is only seven inches long compared to the one back there which is like uh, I want to say it's close to like 19 or 20 inches um, for the receiver. That one's got a 6 inch breech plug in the back of it. Um, if you watch my first video, I explained that one. This one here's only got a 2 inch breech plug in it, um, a lot smaller. There's 5 inches of receiver 
two inch breech plug equal full seven inch for the, the receiver part. Um, inside there is the firing pin. Um, I, I still don't know how well this one's going to hold up. Um, I'm pretty confident that with the oak wood and the eighth inch steel backbone that I placed across the top that transfers the the force basically all the way down the back to the uh, eighth inch thick steel plate. All this is welded. Um, it's JB welded to the wood itself as well as uh, bolted. That's a 5 8 grade A um, bolt that goes all the way through here. It's threaded in about halfway through the stock and then filled up with JB weld as well. Um, I'm going to wait for it to cure a little bit longer and then uh, test fire this one to see how well it does after I add the rubber stock to it. But uh, overall, I think this one here turned out to be very, very good. And I'll let you guys see the uh, full length of this one. Now, I don't have a safety pin on this one either. I really don't plan on putting a shell in this thing until I'm pretty much ready to fire it. I may go back and add some sort of safety mechanism on this one that can flip out the way. Probably end up putting it like between here or something. Sometimes I can just flip out the way and the barrel will travel the rest of the way down. Um, it's only got one coat of clear coat on it, uh, so it's surprisingly it looks really really shiny for only one coat of clear. Um, the black paint I used, however, it was uh, a gloss paint anyway, so it does look a lot shinier, especially after adding one coat of clear on it. But the wood itself is, uh, like I said, gunstock uh, 231 stain. Um, gave it a nice, really nice color to it, and then I went back and. Um, Outline the butts in black that way it all kind of blends in together gave it across the bottom right there um, and across the back uh, I didn't paint anything as up front except for the plate that I put my uh, my initials and the dates that I made this one um, Everything about this one though is pretty much other than the emblems and uh, the emblems and the little belt here and all that uh, everything was completely leftover material out of the first build, so it really didn't cost me too much to make this one. So, uh, leave some comments in there if you want. Um, I'd really like to see what you guys think about this one. I think this one turned out to be extremely good. Um, my wife's really happy with it, so uh, hopefully I'll be able to have a video of this one for you guys to see, uh, see how well it shoots. So.